share again on faith in action. And this week we'll be looking at one of the prayers of Habakkuk. And possibly you are wondering, just like Habakkuk was wondering in his days, and asking God a very difficult question in chapter 1, verse 2. And he's asking, O oh Lord, how long shall I cry and you will not hear? Even cry out to you violence and you will not save. And possibly you are wondering in these times that we are living in, for how long, God, shall we continue in this situation? God answers Habakkuk and he tells him, I will do something in your days that even when you hear it, you will not believe it. And that's what God has been doing, that he is doing something around us that our imagination could not have imagined a few years back. We find God is saying, I'll use the Chaldeans in chapter 2. And when God has spoken with Habakkuk, Habakkuk concludes with a praise to God. In Habakkuk chapter 3 and verses 17, the Bible says, Though the fig tree may not blossom, no fruit be on the vines, though the labor of the olive may fail, and the, yields, and the fields yield no food, though the frog may be cut off from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord, I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord is my strength, he will make my feet like a deer's feet. He will make me walk on my high places. Habakkuk mentions five failures around his time. Number one, he says that the crops had failed. Though there be no fruit in the vine, that's number two. Number three, he says, though there is no labor of olive, the olive is not producing anything. Though the fields yield no food. And number five, he says, though the frogs yield, though the fields yield no fruit, and no hard in the stalls. Habakkuk was contending on the circumstance and the events around his time, which he could see there was lack and there was no hope of things becoming better. But there are two things that Habakkuk says that I want to encourage you this morning. One is that Habakkuk says, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. The joy of Habakkuk could not come from his circumstances. It could not come from what he owned. It could not come from what he knew. He needed to find the joy that the Lord would give. And possibly you are there like Habakkuk and you are staring at failure. You are staring at a desperate situation. I want to encourage you that you can find joy in the Lord. Philippians chapter 4 verse 4 tells us, rejoice always in the Lord, and again I say rejoice. The second thing that we find that Habakkuk says, he says, the Lord God is my strength. The Lord God is my strength. The joy of the Lord is our strength. And I want to encourage you that you can find strength during this season and during these times in the Lord. Because the Lord is our strength, the Lord is our refuge, and the Lord is our fortress. He is the strength that gives us hope, even when we are in desperate situations. And then Habakkuk says two things, and those are the ones I want to leave you uh, this morning with. He says, he will make my feet like the deer's feet, and he will make me walk on high places. Number one, he will steady your walk so that you are not stumbling. Number two is that he will make your path be straight in a difficult and mountainous place, in a difficult and tough moment like the ones we are living in. I want to encourage you this morning that you can find strength in the Lord. And you could be watching us from home or from your office, and you are saying, I'm in a difficult situation. May you find strength in the Lord. I pray that this week that you will be strengthened and that the Lord will become a source of refuge and a source of strength for you. Amen.